Hi guys, welcome back to Mentor, yet another video podcast. Uh, once again, it's fantastic to see you all here. I am really, really, really uh, grateful to uh, all of you guys who are uh, continuously supporting the channel. I'm getting loads of feedback, loads of good suggestions of future content. And I want to give a special thank you to you guys who have gone into my Patreon page and uh, pledged money. It really helps, it really motivates me to, to buy more equipment to the channel, to maybe go and visit flight schools, do some really cool stuff guys. So once and for all a very big thank you to you guys. So today I had a question recently uh, about something that I haven't actually thought about myself that much but, um, but obviously it's a really important part of pilot life and that is when do you guys eat? How do you eat? What do you eat? You know, what, what, how does that all work? Um, obviously this differs between different airlines. So uh, if you're flying long haul, it's a completely different thing. You will be catered food. You'll be given food by, uh, by the cabin crew at given intervals. And um, the only really important thing to think about there is to make sure that the first officer and the captain and um, the relief pilot, if there is one, does not eat the same food. Why is that? Well, if you think about it, it's fairly logical. Um, if there would be something wrong with the food, God forbid, then you don't want to incapacitate all flight crew members. So the likelihood of something being wrong with two different uh, types of dishes is well um, lower than if there would be something wrong with, for example, the fish or something like that. And um, both crew members would eat the same. It would not be a great, great thing. So. Um, that's that's one thing you probably heard of that before and it's actually true and it does make sense then when it comes to eating or if you're flying medium to short haul it's a bit different so um, most airlines would be catered food as well um, it would be similar things to think about as in if you're flying low haul in um, in some airlines the airline does not provide food but it's up to the crew member to bring their own food uh, it has it if when you, when you hear that it feels cheap doesn't it but if you think about it it's kind of the same as in every other job and to be honest the food you would get if you would be continuously eating whatever would be served on board a short or medium flight would not be fantastic so in my airline for example that I'm working for at the moment we made a deal a long time ago um, to provide our own food uh, in exchange for a slightly better salary. That was back well before the year 2000 and that's just been continuing since because it's actually um, much easier for the airline. They don't have to cater up extra food for the crew and for the crew, me included, I actually pre um, prefer it because I can make my own food, make food boxes these tin foil um, boxes with nice food that I've made myself or that my lovely wife has prepared for me. I just freeze it up and then I bring it with me in the, um, in the crew bag and we use the ovens on board to, um, to heat the food up. Um, the thing that you have to think of though is that you have to put the, um, the tin foil um, wrapped food into a special kind of oven proof bag to make sure that there's no leakage from it that causes um, fumes or smoke in the oven so that's the only thing and that's provided by the airline obviously so we have those bags we put the food inside of that we put it in the oven we heat it up and when it comes to when we eat it's uh, when it's appropriate um, the turnaround is really really busy so there's generally no time to eat during the turnarounds because we're constantly working then. But when we're up at cruise level, the autopilot is engaged and it's a, a slower period, we try to eat then. So we're basically eating while we're flying. Um, it tends to be that you hand over the controls and the radio to one of the crew members, then one eats and then you switch over so that you can kind of just relax and eat while you're eating for whatever time it takes, 20 minutes or so. Um, it's extremely important 
to eat well, guys. And I can't stress this enough. I'm doing a lot of training with new cadets. And I've mentioned this in my, in my podcast about line training, which, by the way, I highly um, recommend you guys, if you are going into line training, to watch that video because it has some good content in it about line training. But one of the things that I do stress a lot in that video is that you have to eat, guys. It's, it's very important to keep your blood sugar at a constant good level. Okay, uh, and it's ex it's very very easy to forget if you're under stress. If you want to try to perform, you've probably done this already. You know, you've been focusing on something, maybe a school exam or something, and you've completely forgotten to eat because you're so focused on getting that one thing that you need to do done. It's the same thing when you're working, but the difference here is that you'll be working for maybe eight, ten, twelve hours straight. So you have to find the time to eat, to drink really important to drink lots of water as well because otherwise what happens is that you don't notice it but your performance will start to degrade it will start to get worse and worse you'll start making mistakes and you'll you'll be pissed off with yourself because you don't understand why you're making mistakes about things that you know that you should know uh, which just makes you more stressed and keeps you from uh, remembering to eat so if you feel that that's happening during your line training or whatever if you're new at your job or even if you are experienced and you just feel that hmm, I'm not I'm not performing to the level that I'm used to it is possible that you haven't eaten for a while and it's time to to get yourself a snack which is also a good thing so have at least one preferably two proper meals with you for a long day um, but also bring a bit of nuts fruit stuff with you so that you can quickly get something to eat, get the blood sugar coming up a little bit if you need to do it, maybe during the descent or something, you just need to get a little bit of, of food in you in order to perform to your best um, level. So that's it. Um, so we don't get a lunch break basically, at least not my airlines. Some airlines have really long turnarounds and if you do then of course you'll have time to eat. Sometimes you even have time to go into the terminal and go and sit in a restaurant and have a proper meal. But generally speaking, if you're flying low, um, short haul, medium haul, you're not going to have time to eat during your turnaround. So it's going to be uh, while you're airborne that you're going to be eating. And just remember that. Make sure that you do take your time to bring some good food with you and eat well. Because it is really important. It's important for your health. It's important for your performance. It's, it's just generally very important. So do that, guys. Remember that. And um, I hope that answers your questions about how we eat on board. Um, continue to send in suggestions about future content, it's really really great and uh, as always remember to press that subscribe button, remember to share this video with your friends on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter if you think it's any good and uh, I will be back, I'm going to continue my series about um, failure management soon so that's going to come probably in the middle of the week or towards the end of next week so stay tuned for that, make sure you uh, Keep watching these videos and thanks a lot for supporting and I'll see you next time.